And now it's time for a segment we like to call, Yeah, That Really Happened. Okay, let me just gather myself before this begins. So here's a story that just grinds my gears. A New Jersey teacher had the nerve to lie to her first grade students and tell them that Santa Claus, you know, wasn't, you know, isn't you know what, you know. Well, I've got a message for that teacher. Here's proof. Take a look. Mm, bam! What do you have to say now, teacher? Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Santa Claus in the flesh. Apparently, the bah humbug of a substitute teacher told first graders all types of things that really just suck the magic out of the holidays. You know, the school district has since sent out a note to parents saying the teacher used poor judgment. Now, we don't want to spill all of the details on air because we know that we have some young Morning Rush viewers. So, uh, I'm turning things over to Trent. You know, Trent, this one yes. has a lot of folks shaking their heads. This bah humbug, this Grinch. Including you. You seem really fired up mm -hmm. over there. <laughs> you are not the only one, okay? So people are worried that they're ruining the magic. This first grade teacher, Loretta, joked, is that in her lesson plan? Methinks not. We also heard from Virginia. That is so mean. Remember St. Nicholas? That's where it started. And finally, another Loretta said she should be fired. I'm 71 and I believe in Santa. You go, Loretta. We all do here at Morning Rush, right, guys? That's right. Yeah. Loretta, I'm with you. I am with you. I feel bad for Santa. You know, every year Santa is questioned. Yeah. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and Santa does a lot of hard work bringing gifts to to children's homes and list and going through those naughty lists, yeah. nice and naughty lists, yeah. getting the elves in order and the reindeers. It's a it's, lot. It's a lot of work. When he came and visited us at Canathon, I was asking him where he was coming from, and mm -hmm. he was just visiting Russia to map out his plan. You know, yeah. he was trying to see, okay, which houses are am I going to hit first? He does this before, of course, Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of work. It takes a village. That's why up in mm -hmm. the North Pole there is Santa's village, and yeah. that's what it takes. So, I mean, I, you know what, kids, and if you're watching right now, I have personally seen Santa. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a good glimpse just coming out of the chimney, 1978, mm -hmm. right at the house that we lived at in North Miami Beach, Florida. Yeah. yeah. Just zooming away. Really? My dad confirmed it. I saw yeah. it. So, teacher. Yeah. Mm. Santa crashed through the ceiling in my house one one winter. Ooh, it yeah. happens. Did he pay yeah. for damages? Or? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious. To know. There really was during the Christmas holiday. There was a crash through the ceiling. So okay. my question is, what do you think the teach? I mean, the teacher's been spoken with, and apparently they have agreed this this school that she used poor, poor judgment, judgment. But what should happen to the teacher? I think the teacher should dress up like the Grinch and go into that class where the first graders are and say, "Listen, I was just trying to spoil the holiday," mm -hmm. and maybe perhaps dress as the Grinch for a few days. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Grinch. Mm -hmm. I just want to say, whenever we have our shows, Christmas Eve, mm -hmm. we legitimately spend time forecasting, trying to figure out where Santa is at. Yeah. Yeah. NORAD, we spend millions of dollars in satellites trying to track this guy. Mm -hmm. Not for not. There's a reason why we do this. There That's you right. go. So leave Santa alone, okay? Yeah. It's 641.